What's going on my gaming family out there? Welcome to Gamers with Gains. Here's an interesting new vlog video for you guys, one that's going to help all of you out there become stronger gamers. So, today I'm going to be talking about three tips specifically that are going to help improve your gaming skills. Three things that overall, very simple in nature, very simple practices. You don't have to do anything crazy or nothing like that. Completely just change up your schedule and everything. But these three things that I'm going to tell you are specifically going to, going to improve your gaming skills in whatever video game that you decide to play. It doesn't matter what console, doesn't matter what platform, doesn't matter what type of genre. All these different tips, okay, all three of them are really going to help you overall. So, tip number one, okay, drink water. Now, I know a couple of you out there are like, yo, JJ, what the hell, God, man? Come on, what are you trying to make me do, piss the entire time? No, let me explain myself a little bit. And I know it's silly. I've done a video about water in the past. One of my first actual videos that I did here on the Gamers with Games channel. Maybe I'll put a link in the description box so you guys could just go check it out. But specifically, drink water. The reason why you want to drink water is because water not only is one of the most basic elements that's required for life right outside of oxygen, but water is not only going to cleanse your body of any impurities that you have within your body, but it's also going to help clear your mind a little bit. You see, depending on what type of foods that you eat, again, it's different for everybody depending on where you live and such. You get a whole bunch of different impurities and the different things that we consume, okay? Whether it's solid food, whether it's liquids, you know, soda, coffee, whatever. It doesn't matter what it is. There's some form or level of impurities or kind of like bacteria or even sort of bad stuff that's, you know, for our bodies. Bad, bad things for our bodies specifically that's within our food. And we hardly ever really recognize it. What you do is when you drink water outside of everything else that's going on inside your body, you'll be able to cleanse your body fully by just adding water in there so your kidneys and other kind of like things, your immune system doesn't necessarily have to work as hard. How does this relate to your actual gaming skills? Well, one of the effects of drinking a lot of water, especially every day, like half your body weight in water, is that you'll clear up your mind a little bit. Because when we get a lot of impurities inside of our body and a lot of stuff that's not necessarily good for our bodies, we tend to also be a little bit compromised in our mind. We don't necessarily think clearly. We're not as alert as we should be. We're not as able to focus on specific tasks as we are able to with our true potential. By drinking water and providing that nutrients to the rest of our bodies, and more specifically, your mind, like that you'll be able to be a little bit better if not much much better at your gaming skills you know whether you're competitive gaming or you're just playing a specific game that's really challenging or just trying to get through like an rpg story if you're going into that 20 or 30 hour period like that and you find yourself getting stuck required to grind and level grind and get all this exp and stuff drinking water and having a clear head and a clear mind is definitely going to help you overall which leads me to tip number two Okay, tip number two, again, fairly simple. You guys can pretty much do this in any sort of way that's adaptable to your own life. Read. Now, again, let me explain myself so that way you guys can have a better understanding because you might miss it here. Reading, again, is again, training your mind. A lot of these tips involve training and training and training your mind because you want that focus, you want that ability to kind of have that quick reaction and that quick thought process in order to play different types of video games. With reading specifically, you could do it a variety of different ways. You don't necessarily have to go pick up War and Peace, a book that's that thick, and necessarily read through the whole thing in like a day or something. No, 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 it doesn't work that way, guys. Reading, or just the process of just reading, whether you're reading articles online via IGN, The Coalition, or any other video game outlet or website, whether you're reading comic books, I read myself a lot of comic books, more specifically graphic novels, or just different essays and different little anecdotes here and there. As you read, again, you get into the habit of processing stuff in your mind, absorbing things subconsciously so that way your mind is constantly at work. You've got the synapses in your brain going like this all over the place that allows you to focus and allows you to process things in your mind a lot quicker. The more you do it, the better you get at it. It's like any other muscle that's within inside your body, not just your thumbs and your fingertips or your arms, your pecs, your legs or anything like that. No, your mind is also another muscle that requires a little bit of actual training and work to really kind of get things going. Doing something like that is really gonna help out yourself when you actually go to play different video games and things like that. Tip number three, okay, really important one. All right, exercise. Again, let me explain myself. I'm doing a lot of explaining today because you guys are gonna need it a little bit. So, 
exercise. It doesn't necessarily mean you have to go to the gym and start lifting weights and making muscle gains like that. It also doesn't necessarily mean that you have to go out and do CrossFit and go hit up your local gym or whatnot. But exercise in any sort of way that's going to fit within your life, whether it's walking, power walking, running, push-ups in your house when you just finished, you know, a raid in Destiny, it doesn't matter what it is. Find some exercise, not just one, but maybe a couple that you could put throughout the entirety of the day or just in one long sitting where you take out that time to really just move your body. And by doing that, you're not only going to help make yourself feel a little bit much more fit, you're going to take in more oxygen as you breathe in more, which is also good for your mind, the rest of your body and such, but also your blood is going to circulate through your body a lot more quicker as your, body, your heart actually pumps more blood throughout the entirety of your body. That only helps provide oxygen to all the different spots of your body a lot more quicker. It also does the same thing with nutrients, stuff that you eat, especially if you're eating healthy foods, which again is also going to help your mind, but it also allows you to help get rid of impurities inside of your body a lot more quicker like that, whether it is that you have to go pee and have your liver do a little bit of work, especially if you've been drinking a lot of water like that, pissing like a horse, <laughs> but also it prevent, helps prevent you a little bit from getting sick because your blood's racing through your body constantly. You have a lot of the different antibodies, the white blood cells going through the entirety of your body and actually taking out all the different bacteria, all the different viruses, and all the other little impurities that kind of get inside of you through daily life. By doing that, you're gonna feel a lot more healthier, you're gonna feel a little bit more vitalic, you're gonna have more vitality, and you're gonna be a little bit much more focused. Again, training the mind. Training the mind to be something that actually processes that processes information a lot more quicker and allow you to be more focused. That way you do better in your video games. So, but besides those three, I'm gonna throw one more at you guys. You're gonna get a bonus one from me right here that's gonna help you out. Play everything. I know that sounds a little bit far-fetched, but play every type of video game that you can. I know you have your preferences, your likes and your dislikes, and the stuff that you really gravitate towards, and the stuff you really repel against, but have an open mind to play every specific type of genre. If, even if you're not into puzzle games, give them a try out. Try different ones. Don't necessarily just play one or two. Try to explore the landscape of what gaming really is. There's a big gaming universe out there. All these different genres, all these different types of stories, all these different methods and mechanics of gameplay that's out there. Try to absorb a little bit and allow yourself to kind of grow and expand and explore a little bit of what the horizons have for you. Not only are you going to appreciate more of the genres that you actually love playing and actually love diving into on a daily basis, but you're going to have a better knowledge of other types of games that are out there. And it will help you allow your mind and allow yourself to kind of think a little bit differently when you approach different problems and scenarios in all the different video games that you play. Trust me, I've done this over the years. It's really helped me out, not only exploring different types of games, which I've kind of discovered as some of my favorites, but it's also helped me become a little bit of a better gamer, not only competitively, but also on my own spare time. I find myself getting less stuck at different types of genres and stuff, but I also find myself enjoying more of the games that I actually play. So those are just a couple tips. I know I said three, but I ended up giving you four of that little bonus one right there for you guys. Let me know if this helps you out, guys. Put a comment in this, uh, was it the comment box below? Let me know if you guys have any questions about gaming related stuff, about any sport, sort of specific series, or anything involving bodybuilding, fitness, and stronger living principles. But that's all I got to say, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace out and stay epic, everybody.